Today we'll be working on fraction partitive division. So partitive division means that you start with a fixed amount, give it equal amount to a fixed number of groups, and count how much you have left. So we're looking to um, find out how many pieces are in one whole. So our equation today is 2 fifths divided by 7 thirds. As a word problem, it would be that I have 2 fifths cookies, which is enough to make 7 thirds of a recipe. How many cookies are in one recipe? So we want to know how many pieces, or cookies, are in one recipe. So the cookies is the pieces, and the recipe is the whole. So our first step is to work with the 7 thirds. And we drew out our holes right here. And each hole was split into three parts because of the denominator here. The denominator tells you how many parts your hole needs to be cut into. We shaded in seven of them because that's our numerator. And our numerator says how many um, pieces of the hole that we are considering. So now we want to go down here and separate each of these slivers so that they're individual pieces by themselves. So, we can also split, we want to split each of these into five pieces because we're putting this fraction inside each of our pieces. So, split into five pieces because five is the denominator, and then shade in two because that's our numerator, that's how many parts we care about. So, each of these slivers represents one recipe. And we should in two fifths of that. Now, we only want to focus on one of these since one is one recipe. So, move this over and work with one. So, this is one, one sliver of seven because we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven slivers, and this is one of the seven. So, now if we turn this into an equation, it would be two fifths, so these two fifths times one seventh because this is one of the seven parts. And then you have so you have two fifths of a cookie and you separated this by showing you have two parts of the five equal parts. And you have to remember the three because each original hole up here was made up of three pieces, so that's what we have to multiply by the three. Now, if we refer to our, um, if we go down here and do this, we have two fifths times one seventh times three. Now, you can go over here and see that that can also be written as two fifths times one seventh times three over one because this three represents three whole um, pieces or three whole groups and then you can rewrite this even as this goes in and makes three sevenths and then this is two fifths so now we have two fifths times three sevenths if we refer to our original problem, original problem is two fifths divided by seven thirds. So we can see here that this is why we can invert and multiply. So we flipped the second fraction and multiply. Now we can go down and do two times three, which equals six, and five times seven, which equals thirty-five. The six is the numerator, the thirty-five is the denominator. So now we know that there are six 35ths cookies in one recipe.